This is Natasha de Souza reporting for Salt Voices, and I'm here at Salt Abu Dhabi on day two with Steve Barnett, the executive director for business development at the Abu Dhabi Global Market. Hi, Steve. I'm Thank touching. you for joining me today here on Salt Voices. Lovely to have you. You were part of a very interesting discussion earlier today about sustainable investing. Take us through a little bit, you know, what your main findings or insights were from that particular session. I think we, we really pursued how important sustainable was and the way in which that you don't have to compromise return in order to do good. So the doing well by doing good theme came through very strongly. Mm -hmm. The opportunities which exist in this region and the way that ADGM is supporting the growth of sustainable investment is something that I was keen to get out there. I think it's less well known quite how strong the sustainable agenda is in this part of the world. Is that something similar to say the ESG approach towards it's, it's investing? It's a component of ESG, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So okay. ESG is a very broad set of frameworks. Mm -hmm. And what we've tried to do is to narrow it down into something which makes it practical for people here. Okay. You know, people have very different concepts of what sustainable or green or good what they are. That's true. There's no uniform definition for this, you know, even globally. I actually no, reported right. on ESG and that's a, that's been a common issue where there's, I think in North America, they've done a lot more work in terms of quantifying or creating some kind of index for what qualifies as ESG. But I think in, in our part of the world, we're well, not there yet. In North America, there's been a lot of work done. In Europe, there's been a lot of yes. work done. The Chinese have done some fantastic work in mm -hmm. this. And what we're trying to do is bring all of those strands together. Okay. Our approach is to try and make things as transparent as possible. So. Yeah, my, my concept of a green investment, for example, may be very different to yours. You may say to me, I'm not going to invest in anything which is to do with hydrocarbons. And I may say, well, 80% of the world's energy is still coming from hydrocarbons. So if I can make a difference to that, I can make more difference than putting on another megawatt of solar. Okay, I'm not saying we should not do that, it. but we should do more of, the, of both. Okay. So, we're making it transparent so people can be comfortable with the, the fact that they've invested in what they really wanted to invest in. Okay, and how are you, I think, percolating that kind of, or, or refining that mindset, you know, through your work at ADGM? I think, how are we making that kind of ethos more widely known and understood? Well, the, the this time last year, uh, January last year, we uh, participated in the World Future Energy Summit. Uh, we, we created a sustainable finance forum in that. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a, a huge attendance from it and we, created the Abu Dhabi Declaration where 25 public and private sector organizations came together and signed the Abu Dhabi Declaration on Sustainable Finance. We're doing that event again in January this year. Uh, really looking forward to that. We've got a great turnout, some fantastic speakers, and we'll expand the declaration as well. On top of that, we, we're, we're really doing four things. We're, we're putting together the framework which makes that transparency available to people. Mm -hmm. We're making sure that we align with the international frameworks that are out there. We're running an education program as well. So through the ADGM Academy, we have a School of Sustainable Finance, okay. which, which makes this more evident to people, the importance of True. it, the impact that it's going to have on future generations yes. if we don't get this right. I've and been then, hearing a lot about that in India as well, uh, educating absolutely. your companies from absolutely. the beginning. And uh, go ahead, the last the And, last the, and the fourth one is providing a platform where people can bring sustainable needs, so they've got sustainable projects, together with people that are providing sustainable finance or arranging that. And so uh, since we launched that platform uh, a year ago, we've, we've uh, facilitated the financing of more than $2 billion worth of sustainable projects. Okay. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a strong platform for us. It is, and, and clearly to me from what you've just described, ADGM in many ways is at the vanguard, I think of maybe shaping a new era, an approach towards investing in this part of the world. I, mean, I think so, it's a well-trodden path in, in some other parts mm. of the world. And, I think the reason that it isn't as well known here is that a lot of the sustainable credentials that we've developed have been centrally funded historically. Mm -hmm. And now with the opportunity through PPP deals and, and other extensions in the market, mm -hmm. we've now got the opportunity for private capital to come in to participate in these things as well. And that's what makes them better known. You know, when everything's being done uh, centrally, it's there, it just isn't as well known. Okay. Now, let's talk a little bit about salt mm. and especially it being here in Abu Dhabi. What do you see potentially as the ripple effects of a global thought leadership forum like Assault being in a city like Abu Dhabi? What does that tell us about Abu Dhabi and its place in the Middle East and the world? Well, Abu Dhabi has always been a bit of a, a, a consolidator, an organizer. That we've, we've been the force that brings things together in this region in many ways, and we continue to do that. And I think Salt coming to the region is one example of that. 
you know, what we're trying to do is to bring the world to Abu Dhabi and Abu Dhabi to the world. And the global leaders in the industry that we see here, the geopolitical figures that we see speaking at this event, I think give people an exposure to the, not just the business opportunities, but also the culture, the way of living, the hospitality that people find in this region. So many people have come up to me during this event and said, we never knew. We never knew that what it was so like. literally opening minds. Opening minds, mm -hmm. opening opportunities, opening checkbooks as well to an extent. So if we can bring <laughs> all those like things together. like a man in business development. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely well. And it's also, you know, people have seen this region as a, a, a little bit as an ATM. And okay. I think what we're doing is introducing opportunities for capital flows in both directions. Right, right. That's come up quite yeah. a bit in my conversation because we all know the UAE is a net exporter of capital. Absolutely. And that often means that there are a lot of viable businesses whether you're startups or an SME that are also starved for the capital opportunities that tend to be going sure. somewhere else. Yes. And you know, AD, ADGM is a regional hub where we are the platform which enables willing buyers and willing sellers of things to come together mm -hmm. in a common law jurisdiction, the only one of its kind in the region. Um, so people can be confident that they're dealing on a level playing field, that if they get into dispute, that it gets resolved fairly and equitably and quickly. Um, and that they can uh, they can use that playing field to, to play whichever types of games they want in a safe, sound, secure environment. So, you know, we're providing that uh, the glue which can bring these investors and and and, um, and capital together. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking us through the work that you're doing at ADGM. All of it sounds incredibly exciting, and I'm in particular excited to see how sustainable investing you know gains ground you know in this part of the world. Thank, thank you, you so much for being with us today, Steve. It's a wonderful meeting. Appreciate you. time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.